Good morning. We're back in the New Forest, visiting the village of Buckler's Hard, which sits alongside the Bewley River. It's a quiet place now, and a popular tourist attraction. It's hard to believe that this was once an important shipbuilding yard, with contracts to build ships for the Royal Navy. We'll start our tour at the Village Museum. Here we are in the museum. This shows us how Buckler's Hard looks today. And this model shows us what Buckler's Hard would have looked like 250 years ago. The village was laid out around the all-important slipway, with shipbuilders housing flanking the place of construction. We can see lengths of wood, mainly oak, everywhere, as of course the ships here were made from wood, much of which came from the New Forest. That's the main reason that the shipbuilding industry was established here. No power tools in those days. Everything was constructed by hand. In the museum, we can see models of some of the ships that were built here. During the Napoleonic Wars in 1805, the Battle of Trafalgar took place, in which the British Navy fought the combined navies of France and Spain. The British won the battle, but the British commander, Admiral Nelson, was killed, shot by a French sniper. Four of the ships in Admiral Nelson's fleet were built here in Buckler's Hard. HMS Agamemnon was allegedly Admiral Nelson's favourite ship. He was its captain for three years before he became an admiral. This is a real ship's figurehead, a fairly frightening character. Buckler's Hard was also used by smugglers to bring in heavily taxed goods from France, such as brandy, tobacco and silk. We'll leave the museum and walk down to the main street. Shipbuilding died out here when ships started to be made of iron and steel in the 19th century and much of England's shipbuilding moved to the north of England. This is the main street. The ships were built by the side of the river at the bottom of the street. The original chapel is still here and it's open to visitors. Next door is a ship worker's cottage and we can see how the family would have lived 200 years ago. Just one bedroom with all the family sleeping together. The parents' bed has some curtains to give them a bit of privacy.
down towards the river, a shipwright's workshop's been built, using traditional 18th century tools, as part of a project to keep traditional shipbuilding skills alive. We can see the links of timber, which are being shaped by the students using those traditional 18th century tools. This is where the ships were constructed and launched. Nowadays, Buckler's Hard has a thriving yacht marina and leisure has replaced industry. The old master builder's house has been extended and turned into a very nice hotel and restaurant. I've put a link to their website in the text. Buckler's Hard also has another claim to fame. In 1967, Francis Chichester became the first person to sail single-handedly around the world. Although his journey officially started and ended at Plymouth, it actually started and ended here. Buckler's Hard is where Francis Chichester kept Gypsy Moth for in a berth at the marina. I hope you've enjoyed this short visit to Buckler's Hard. If you've watched all the way through, thanks very much. I really appreciate your support.